This tutorial will walk you through setting up Wi-Fi on your vending machine. You should be on a Windows based laptop, though we do have some notes for Mac users as well here. Find the router's username and password and connect your laptop to the network. Now attach your Wi-Fi antenna to your machine. First, we will be covering Windows 8 users. Open your control panel and click on the Network Sharing Center. Next, locate where it says Connections in the Wi-Fi area. Left click on this. You will now see this window appear. Now click on Wireless Properties. Once here, you'll see this window. Now click on the Security tab on the top. Here you will see the security and encryption types. Please write these down in a safe place. We will be entering them into the Boozilator shortly. For Windows 7 users, please refer to this section. Open your laptop computer and click on the Wi-Fi icon. Notice the network you are connected to appears. Hover your mouse over that network and you will see the security type. Write this down in a safe place. You will be needing it in a little bit. Now right click on the network and left click on the word properties. A new window will appear. Please click on the security tab at the top. You will be focusing on the encryption type. In this case it will be AES. Please write this down in a safe place. You will be using it in a little bit. For Mac users, hold the ALT slash option key while left clicking on the Wi-Fi network. Write down the security information here. Open up your machine and remove the side door plate on the side of the LCD monitor. The remote control sensor is located inside the monitor here. Click any of these colored buttons and the menu will appear on your machine. Use this cursor to navigate around the menu. Scroll to network and click OK. Repeat the steps. Click OK on network here as well. Now scroll down until Wi-Fi is highlighted and then scroll right till SSID is highlighted. Click the OK button to access the keyboard in the SSID. Enter the router name. The router name is also the SSID. Be careful not to misspell anything and to use the proper case. Any errors in case or misspelling will result in a failed connection. Repeat this for the password. Now select the proper authentication. This is the security type that we wrote down just a few minutes ago. Repeat this for the encryption. Scroll left again until Wi-Fi is highlighted. Once you are here, click the down arrow once and Ethernet will become highlighted. Click the down arrow exactly one more time so that nothing is highlighted. Then click the OK button on your remote to confirm the changes. Click OK again just to confirm. Once you clicked OK, find the exit button on your remote control. Click the exit button until you reach the main menu. Once at the main menu, click Reboot. Your machine should now be connected to the Wi-Fi router. To view and control your machine online, please watch the remote monitoring tutorial. 